I kept seeing this ad for mushroom coffee in my Facebook and Instagram feeds, and I thought, what on earth is mushroom coffee? So I bought some to try it out. First of all, welcome to my new filming space. I have a tiny one-room apartment in Tokyo, and this shelf used to be full of books, which I've now given away so I can have my own little studio for these videos. I'm going from once or twice per month making videos to three or four times a month making videos. So if you want to support this channel and help me to create this kind of content, then you can do so at patreon.com forward slash home cafe. So the whole point of mushroom coffee is that mushrooms are really good for you and everybody loves coffee. So why not put them together? That's exactly what Four Sigmatic has done with extract of lion's mane in this coffee that's supposed to have some really great health benefits. Okay, so it says here that lion's mane may protect against dementia, reduce mild symptoms of anxiety and depression and help repair nerve damage. It also has strong anti-inflammatory, antioxidant and immune boosting abilities and has been shown to lower the risk of heart disease, cancer, ulcers and diabetes in animals. Ooh. Okay, that all sounds nice, but how does the coffee taste? Now I can just add mushrooms to food that I'm cooking and I actually really like mushrooms anyway. So I've been bringing this to work for a few weeks and trying it in many different ways and I'm ready to make my verdict. The coffee is pre-ground and the grind size is actually quite large. So I've been taking the ground coffee, weighing it and grinding it for a second time in my little hand grinder or my espresso grinder. This lets me get a finer grind size and a better overall extraction for the ways that I've been using it. I tried the Four Sigmatic coffee as pour over, siphon and espresso. So let me show you the results of my taste tests. Now this coffee comes pre-ground at sort of the upper limit of what would be expected for a pour over. So I'm gonna grind it a little bit finer. Hey, nobody said there's anything wrong with grinding it a little bit finer, even if you've already ground the coffee. First, I'm gonna try this out as a pour over and see if I can get a decent result out of it. I mean, it's not that bad. It tastes like normal black coffee that you might order from a regular cafe. So it definitely doesn't taste terrible, but it's not that exciting like I might expect from different kinds of beans. So yeah, uh, not bad, but nothing really special. Of course, if you know me, then you know that pour over is not my favorite way to have coffee. I'm big into espresso. So let's see if I can grind this up really fine and get a good espresso or even just a latte out of this coffee. Let's go give it a shot. Okay, I'm really not sure how this is gonna turn out, so um, let's just try it. Oh, that is not a good espresso. Ooh. Let's see if we can make it into a half decent latte. It's actually not all that bad. It's about as good as I would expect from a chain cafe store. So uh, yeah, it's not terrible, but I wouldn't really want to do that as espresso just because really it takes so much out of the grinder to do that. You have to tap it on the side. You have to really work to get those grinds through a decent espresso grinder. So I don't think it's worth doing this for espresso. Finally, let's try this out on the siphon and see if we can get some better results. So I generally prefer siphon coffee to pour over anyway, but I'm still not a fan of this coffee. It's just not as exciting as some of the coffees that I've been roasting at home on my Jenny Cafe Roaster. If you wanna see how I roast my coffee, you can take a look at the video in the description. 
Okay, so my conclusion is that this is about as good as decent store-bought coffee, which is by no means excellent, but just not above average. The lion's mane extract doesn't make it taste worse either. I was expecting some kind of dank or musty flavor from the mushroom, but it actually doesn't have very much flavor at all. And in the siphon where that flavor will be most apparent, I couldn't taste it and it actually was just a decent cup of coffee. So I'm sort of left questioning, who is this for? It's kind of generic tasting and a little bit like store-bought or chain cafe quality coffee. It's definitely not targeted at coffee lovers and especially not at espresso lovers like me. The biggest reason why I think this isn't something for coffee lovers is the freshness and the grind. The coffee has a use by date on it rather than a roasted on date, which as I've mentioned in previous videos is a big red flag for buying coffee. As of right now, Four Sigmatic isn't offering any whole beans and everything is pre-ground. For the average consumer, this is fine, but for coffee lovers, we want to see whole beans as freshly roasted as possible. So I hope this is something they choose to add in the future. It is possible that there's a difficulty in adding the lion's mane extract to whole beans, and that's why they have to grind it up first. So I'm not sure if this is something they can improve on. Given the health benefits of lion's mane, I think I will finish the two bags of coffee that I bought from them, and I might order something like the matcha that they have, or also the cocoa, but just not the coffee. Now you can take my word for it or you can try it yourself with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one. So I bought some to try- oh upside down. <laughs> the kettle's going off. I don't usually put milk in pour over coffee, but I feel like I want to put some milk in this. Yeah, definitely some milk. Oh, I've got my mic. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I generally prefer, ugh, prefer, that's not a word.